Hello, this is Andrew Schmidt at St Jude's Randwick. We just wanted to put together this short video to let you know how much we're looking forward to having you back in person gathering for church here at St Jude's during November and to have our community back on our beautiful site. Now I thought that I'd start out here in the graveyard because it's at this time of year that we have the lovely display of wildflowers which just seem to hang like little white puffs over the graves. Unfortunately, just as the prophet Isaiah says about human life, the wildflowers do not last very long. Well, here we are in front of the church. The new slate roof is nearly finished, and as you can see, it looks absolutely amazing. In fact, on this side of the church, it is finished, but there's some work continuing on the other side. This construction fence is going to be gone very, very soon. Now, during November, we're meeting at 9 a.m. for Holy Communion in the church and also at 4 p.m. for afternoon church in the parish room. At 4 p.m., though, please come a little bit early. We'll certainly be hanging around and enjoying each other's company from 3.45. Well, we're going to have a look at the church now, but just be aware, this is the messy version before the working bee, which is going to get the church all ready for gathering. So you're going to see it with the results of uh, what's been happening uh, with the roof work, but don't worry, it's gonna look great for Sunday. Now, when you arrive, uh, you're going to need to check in using your smartphone. If you don't have a smartphone, or if you can't check in that way, then there's going to be someone at the front door and they will take your details down and enter them directly into the New South Wales Health website. Now, once we're inside the church, we do need to wear a mask. Uh, only the people who are up the front leading uh, or the choir while they're singing will be allowed to be not wearing masks. So masks will be generally what we do. And at least for the beginning of November, we are going to be spaced under the four square meter rule. So what that means is that every second pew is going to be roped off. And apart from family or household groupings, we need to be sitting just a maximum of two people per pew. Uh, you'll remember if you were part of St Jude's before the last lockdown back in June, we have our COVID safe way of taking communion, which means we actually receive communion at the chancel steps. And we try to maintain a circular motion, walking forward down this aisle and then back along the side aisles to get to our pews and that helps us to, to stay distanced. Now, there is no uh, requirement that you be vaccinated in order to come to church. Everyone, absolutely everyone is welcome to be here. Uh, we're really pleased that from the survey we've just taken, we have learned that just about everyone in our regular congregation uh, is vaccinated, so we're confident that for those for whom this would be an extra source of comfort, uh, we feel it's, we're confident that just about everyone who comes will be vaccinated, but there is no requirement. Now, let me just take this extra opportunity to let you know that the Samaritan's Purse uh, Operation Christmas Child is still happening. Uh, you can collect your box this Sunday, that is, Sunday the 7th and the, the final Sunday that for these to be brought back with the goodies inside is Sunday the 14th of November. The final thing to let you know about for church gatherings in November is that for the beginning of November uh, we are not allowed to sing as a congregation. We'll be led in our singing by the choir but as a congregation we will not be allowed to sing. The good news is that the government has announced that restriction on singing is going to be lifted sooner than we'd thought. So certainly by the end of November, it seems to me we will be able to sing as a congregation. Well, that's all I had to share with you about gathering for church in November. But uh, if you're interested, uh, keep watching because I'd also like to take you up to the roof and show you a bit about what's been happening there. Well, the roof restoration is nearly complete now. And this is the southern side of the church as it was on Sunday the 31st. What you're seeing there is the chancel roof, which has all got the brand new uh, Welsh slate on it. And then I'm panning across here to show you the main roof over the nave. That, of course, is also complete. Uh, there's a the bell tower for you. And now if we pan down, you can see that here, the southern side of the church and over the vestry is all the battens are in place and the new slates are there also ready to be nailed down. So I'm expecting that will be all done this week and the church is going to be uh, 
almost finished, if not completely finished, by, uh, by Sunday the 7th in time for our restart. So that's a bit of a look for you at the progress of the roof work, but certainly there'll be no problem at all for us to be using the church on the 7th. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you at church here at St Jude's during November. Uh, on Sunday the 7th, for our first week back, I'm going to be preaching on freedom and the use of freedom. What do we do with our freedom now that we have been given it back uh, by the government and we're able to, well, almost do what we want now, free of COVID restrictions. We're then going to be finishing off our series from the letter to the Ephesians. And the final week in November is Advent Sunday, when we begin by looking at God's promise that the Messiah is coming.